Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, Day 34. So today we are continuing on with our training on zip forms and wanted to show you now how zip forms and DocuSign integrate. So uh, we're in our transaction from zip form. So I went ahead and logged in. This is the transaction that we were working on yesterday. If you'll recall, we sent those documents off for signature. I did want to show you where those documents show up. So they actually create a folder within your transaction of signed documents. So these were the original documents, if you will. And then if I click on this folder, it's now showing me these are all the PDFs and these are the ones that have been signed. So I could click on one to four family residential contract. It would load it and you would see here is all the information and you can see I went in and, and signed that for Nicole. So her information is now in there. Any documents that I needed to sign as the agent have now been signed. Uh, so these would be set and ready to then bring into your DocuSign account so that you could then bring them into uh, KW Command. So in order to do that, we need to link our DocuSign room to our zip form transaction. And we know that in order to make sure that everything is flowing smoothly, we need to create the room basically from our command opportunity. So we're gonna go into opportunities. We're gonna create the new opportunity. And this is one of the nice things. I can do everything in zip form and not have to worry about the fact that I haven't created the opportunity or the actual room in DocuSign yet. I can do everything I need to do in zip forms and then come back and create the opportunity in the room. So we'll go ahead and create the opportunity. Uh, this was a buyer opportunity that we we're working with. Uh, let's just put Nicole's name on here so I know it for later. And we'll just put in a budget and a commission rate. Let's drop her into active and negotiations. So we'll go ahead and click on create. And when we do that, the opportunity opens. We can go to our documents tab. And this again, as we've done many times in the past, is where we will link this opportunity to DocuSign. So we're gonna click on DocuSign. Right now what's happening is it's creating that room within DocuSign. So you can see our opportunity name is the same as our room name. And so now it's time to link this DocuSign room to this transaction. So in order to do that, basically we're gonna bring documents in from this room and uh, into this room, excuse me, from that transaction. So in order to do that, we're just gonna click on add and we're gonna choose zip form. And then it's gonna say, all right, which of the existing transactions do you want to connect? Now, if you'll notice the 123 Main Street Nicole Keith buyer docs is not showing as one of the transactions that I can connect. That's actually because yesterday I did a training with another agent showing her this exact process and I actually linked that room to another doc, that uh, transaction in zip form. I actually linked it to another room. So you can't link more than one transaction to more than one room. So if I go back into my rooms, I can pull up Elena's DocuSign room, which we were working on yesterday. And if I needed to unlink, so this might happen, you might link the wrong transaction to the wrong DocuSign room. In order to unlink, you would just click on add and then zip form and you're gonna choose the linked transaction because this one is already linked and then you'll see there's a button here that says remove link. So I'm gonna click on it, it says, are you sure? Once unlinked, you can relink the transaction to a different transaction. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that link. You can see it successfully unlinked the two. Now let's go back into that room that we created from our opportunity and here that one is and now we can go in and say, all right, on our documents tab, I'd like to bring in documents from zip form from the transaction in zip form that we were using earlier. So now you can see it's on the list. I can click on it, click on create. That establishes the connection. Um, and now I can say, oh, whoops, I didn't want to do create. I apologize. Uh, zip form choose it and the link is the button I want to choose link because I want to link that transaction to this room. So I'll click on link and it says, perfect, you've now successfully linked the two. So now I can say, hey, I want to pull in documents from that linked transaction. And then it'll show me all of the documents here. Now, any of the PDFs are the signed documents, the ones that say ZFX, those are the zip form forms or kind of the pre-filled uh, but not signed documents. 
So I would just want to go through and just click on all of the PDFs and that quick and easy. I would just be able to bring all of these in. They've already been pre-filled out. Then I went in and filled in the missing information and I sent them off for signature. They've now been signed. So now once I click on add, all of these documents are now inside of my DocuSign room for me then to bring into command. So that's how you're basically going into command, creating the opportunity, linking DocuSign to that opportunity so that it creates the room. And then we're linking the room to ZipForm so that way we can easily bring in these documents from ZipForm. They're all in, they're all nice and neat. You notice I don't have any templates, there's nothing else. The only things in this DocuSign room are my completely filled out and signed documents, which will also make it easier when we go into command and bring these documents over. So tomorrow we'll finish up the process by doing that. And then I'll show you one quick tip um, in zip forms that I've already learned that's helped me out a ton as well. So I'll look forward to speaking with you guys tomorrow. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thanks so much.